Actually, which uh, camera do I need to look into? This one? This one. Hi, I'm Jason Klom. Nope. Hi, I'm Jason Klom. I host the Comedy on Vinyl podcast. I run the Stolen Dress podcast network. I am the professional blur. Uh, there's, it's also a podcast I do. Um, and every once in a while, I like to come out here uh, and hit my microphone and uh, put a little bit of th something up here on YouTube about something I've been working on. Uh, I have way too many side projects and between my side projects, I have way too many different ways to kind of relax and let off steam. Um, my probably my biggest, my favorite one is Lego. I'm not a big fan of YouTube jump cuts, but I literally just smashed into my microphone again. So, um, so th 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. This that just fell apart. This is, uh, so my best friend and I, uh, Dan Go Miller. Um, that's this, this is Dan. This is me. Uh, we podcast together. Dan lives in Boise. I live in Burbank. Um, and, uh, I made this little thing of us, uh, podcasting together about five years, uh, six years ago, uh, once we started it. Um, so it's hard to find headphones actually for Lego people. Fortunately, there's one that worked for him. And while I don't wear hats a lot, uh, I, <laughs> I, I put a hat on him on, on me cause my hair wouldn't match that one. I've since started wearing more hats, I guess for verisimilitude, just so I match my Lego guy. Uh, this is just, this is not what this is about, but I, I wanted to just show you, uh, that, you know, I try and turn many things in my life into Lego because it's relaxing. Um, and it's also this weird, you know, it's this way you can sort of fit things into this, into this kind of, this little box and, uh, it's, it, it can be relaxing for verisimilitude's sake. Now f for that, uh, those words, words are happening out of my mouth. Um, so here's, here's something that I've been working on for a while. Uh, that's a lie. I didn't take that long, but it's something I've been thinking about. Um, so I made these a while ago. These are um, Lego cassette tapes. Now, I would like to put little reels inside them. I haven't quite figured out the best way to do that. I might actually suspend some little tires, some little rubber tires. There's a black one. Um, they have different types of holes in them as well. Um, but yeah, so I've got these two cassette tapes made out of Lego. You'll see this one does not. I don't have a, a single, a one by one smooth gray one. So I, I had a dark, it was very annoying. It's one of the reasons I made a black one. So it'd be uniform. Um, anyway, I like I like how cassette tapes look and these actually fit in cassette player. You, you can't, can you see it from there? I don't, I really don't think you'd be able to see it if I pop this out. No, you, you can see nothing. I could be making this up, but here, let's see, I put it in there. It goes in. It goes in, I promise. It just doesn't close because the holes don't line up perfect. Don't line up perfectly, but whatever. This will fit in. Oh wait, do I have another? <laughs> Maybe I have a better cassette player to give you an idea. Whatever. These fit in a... again. This is not what this is about. I feel like I'm I'm burning uh, episodes. Although, what kind of an episode would be? Well, if I say that, then you're going to be a little, whatever. Um, so this is another thing I've been working on. This is a uh, Lego VHS. Now, uh, Dan and I started comedy together. When we were 13 and 14, back in, no, 12 and 13, back in 1992. Um, and uh, eventually, you know, the following year, the year after, yeah, the year after, uh, no, the following year or the year after, hi, I'm, I'm a professional speaker, man. One way or another, we have about 60 VHS tapes that we recorded on over the course of like five years. Um, it's crazy. We've been doing the podcast more than we really did anything on VHS together. And um, I don't know, uh, this is, I'm not, I'm not, uh, a uh, big nostalgia freak. Uh, disregard the fact that I do a podcast about comedy albums. It's not about that. Anyway, uh, but there, there, there's this. So uh, you can see I've got these uh, little, you know, the clear bricks. Uh, behind that, you've got the uh, the reels. Um, it's, it's as smooth as I can. I'd like to put a label on here if I can. Hello. Um, I used the, uh, to get as smooth as possible and a nice uniform look. Uh, these are the little stands that minifigures come on. If you buy minifigures, it's also what's on the side. It's, it's a little, a little off. Uh, but what's fun is it, it is is that this opens. So, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so here's the back side of it. Um, that's, uh, I tried to fit the kind of little chunks that are taken out in most cassette tapes. And that is, uh, you can see those little round bits are the reels. Uh, you might be a little annoyed why there's so many gray pieces back there. I, I ran out of the, the right black pieces because these are very specific black pieces, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, that'll be fixed one day. But uh, there's a little hole because there's a hole in cassette tapes. Uh, the bottom is, oh yeah, actually I did customize that. So you can see there's, that's where a little chunk would be taken out for the, the recording tab. Imperfect, but um, I like how it looks, but I'm, I'm mostly excited by the fact that it 
it opens. I mean, come on. So this has been, uh, had a guest on the Comedy on Vinyl podcast the other day who had to come back in the room to check. He's like, is that a Lego VHS tape? Am I, am I, was I imagining things? So yeah. And then I've got the little, those little, little ramp slanty pieces there so that this opens easier. Uh, cause the original version I had kept falling apart. Um, so there, this, this is a Lego, Lego VHS tape. It just about like this close to fits in a Lego box. It's a little, just smidge bigger, but I mean, by, by microns, I swear. Um, but yeah, that, that is something I've been excited about. Uh, at some point I'm going to show you some other Lego stuff I've been working on. Uh, on the past on this channel, I've had, uh, my, uh, Lego, uh, Pez dispenser. I've been working on another version of that. That is way more complicated, a little more Rube Goldbergy that I kind of would like to show you. I've got, it's behind me. You cannot really see it. I've got my Lego cheers set. Uh, we're talking a very large set of the TV show Cheers. Um, up there you can see it, uh, but I'll talk about it more in detail, my Lego Monopoly. Um, and then we'll maybe, you know, talk about some of my props and things, my prop recreations that I've done. I'm a big fan of the show news radio. That's what uh, that is about, that orange thing. And actually, believe it or not, those shirts right there are also about that. Um, big fan of the show news radio, and I've been recreating props from that show when I can uh, and when I get my hands on the real ones. Uh, also working on a news radio set in Lego, but that's going to take a little bit longer. That one's not done. Um, so anyway, I just thought I would show you something that I thought was interesting, and that is, well, uh, several things, but... Hi, um, I'm a Lego man. I don't glue, see here's the thing. I don't glue these together. So what happens is they break sometimes. When I say sometimes, I mean, you know, a significant portion of the time if you're manhandling them, uh, person handling them like an idiot. Um, so that's what I did. I just broke that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it while it was still put together. Uh, I'm Jason Klom and this is Jason Does Something.